How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. Today I'm excited to update you on an aircraft we've already covered, but this is the first time we're going to cover the certified version. Stay tuned, we're checking out the Epic E1000. The newest member of the turboprop club, Epic. Uh, this is this is joyous in a way because for some of us who have followed this aircraft, you follow it from the experimental stage because this airplane for years had been waiting to get certified. And fortunately, I believe it was a year or two years ago, they finally received their FAA certification. So this model that we're looking at right here, the GX. This is the certified model. And if you were to purchase an Epic aircraft today, this is what you would get. Now, you're looking at this, if you're looking at say, the TBM 940, the, uh, the Piper M600, the Pilatus PC-12, and we'll talk about some of the data in a bit, but just stands, I mean, I think looks wise, this airplane definitely differentiates itself. I love the, the curves on the Epic compared to the other ones that I listed. For example, you look at the TBM and the M600, they look fairly similar. And then the Pilatus obviously kind of stands in its own class because it's more durable and it's a more practical airplane. You have more room in the Pilatus. Now, what you would get in some of those, I don't want to say smaller size turboprop, because they all perform similarly, uh, is you have that large door. But I think what the Epic is going for is more of jet-like. This is pretty much a jet. It's like having a single engine jet. And it also caused the price of a light jet, but let me get in the interior because this music is bothering me. Uh, again, if you've been following Mojo Grip or the Epic aircraft, you're familiar with this airplane already and you're familiar with some of the ins and outs that they've had over the years uh, and also the design of the airplane. Not much has changed. Uh, I do love those circle windows compared to the blocks that you get in the other turboprops. And for the Epic aircraft, this is the only door in. Again, you get the feeling of a jet, but let's step in so I don't hear this music any longer. To get in the Epic, you basically go up the stairs and voila i mean this airplane still has the new car smell you can see even the covering on the floor you, you smell new plastic now i think this is where this airplane shines before we even go into the cockpit as a matter of fact let me step out a little bit and show you in my opinion why the epic outshine say the tbm 940 or the m600 you look at the room, just look at the length from here all the way to the next guy. This is a six-seater airplane, meaning you can have two pilots and four passengers. But easily, easily to me, the best leg room in its class, okay? If you sit, look, this is me all the way here. And this is me stretching my foot all the way forward. I can't even touch the next person whereas if I fold it in which will be normal way of sitting let me turn the camera around now you look at my sitting position you see how far off my leg is from the next person because we're facing each other I'm you, you have so much room between two people and so to me I think this is where the epic will stand out and also in terms of width now I believe the the width for this airplane is about four feet four feet and some change I still have a lot of headroom. I'm 5'10 for reference. So I imagine someone taller can sit in here comfortably. Now, I don't know, it would really take someone sitting next to me for, for me to measure uh, the width and comfort level, but you can definitely sit comfortable in this airplane. And then again, the leg room, like I said, is where, where it shines. So it's two seats back and two seats in front of you. The payload for this airplane is about 1,000, 1,100 pounds. That's with full fuel. So depending on how far your travel is, you don't always have to have full fuel. 
and you can carry a thousand or maybe even 1500 more pounds uh, depending on the amount of fuel that you have but let's go to the cockpit this is where I would love to be this is where the magic happens uh, for a pilot so to get and I, I imagine if you're flying one of these you only have one entryway so you'd have to come in from the back there is no door up front which uh, for example the TBM does have doors for the pilot up front to get in but in the epic you're coming in the same way like everybody else now look at this feels like a video game so you look at what you have this thing is decked out <laughs> I mean you we've seen this cockpit before by the way but not in the actual airplane we saw like a simulator for it at Oshkosh I believe it was in 2018 and it looks exactly the same what we saw in that simulator is what you're looking at here this is a single pilot operated aircraft so you don't necessarily uh, need two pilots to operate it in terms of your avionics what you get in the epic is perhaps what you get in all the other airplanes and that's the garmin uh more particularly the garmin nxi the beauty about the nxi is that you can customize it to the particular aircraft so you'd find the garmin nxi in the tbms the the m600 even cirrus cirrus has nxi as well and again the beauty of it is it's tailored to the particular make and model uh like the epic aircraft that you see here you do have a yoke on both sides again i love just the the curves i i feel like design wise just attention paid to detail both from the exterior of this airplane to the interior you can see all of the curves that follows even through this cockpit here and the windows i can't testify to the visibility but i mean you've got pretty large windows that extends almost to your shoulder length uh in the cockpit here and again that yoke again you've, you've got that curved thing going uh, for legroom for pilots i don't imagine you're gonna have a lot of uh headache in terms of stretching your legs there's more than enough ample room there and the seats are scrollable so for example you can see here you have a trail so whether on the shorter side or the longer side you can pull back and forth now this aircraft i believe also is pressurized but i'm going to check uh, with them to uh, confirm that data so what that means is you can fly at a really high altitude in the epic e1000 but i'm gonna step back out and share some numbers with you not much has changed in terms of the performance but we'll hear it again so before i even mention it you can see some of the numbers here this is your max speed now your normal cruise speed in the epic e1000 is between 315 and 320 knots Again, that beats the competition. And then you can fly up to 34,000 feet. Your rate of climb, 4,000 feet a minute. Again, this is jet territory, guys. And then you can travel as far as 1,560 nautical miles with, again, 1,100 pounds of payload with full fuel. So when you fill up the tanks, you can still carry 1,100 pounds. And if you're flying with fairly light people i mean that would probably be a four four people airplane at that point again depending on the amount of fuel that you're carrying now when it comes to the performance this is where i think you would compare to the competition more you're thinking the pilatus the m600 and the tbm 940 except from the tbm every other turboprop in this category travels around 250 knots but this airplane, like the TBM, will go over 300 knots. And you're going at that in style. Now, how much is that gonna put a hole in your pocket? If you saw our coverage four years ago, at the time, if you were to order one of these, you were looking at 3.3 million. Now, being certified, this airplane as presented with all the nice bells and whistles, you're looking at $4.1 million, again, price of a light jet and you are getting the performance of a light jet in this airplane this guys is the epic e1000 gx again this is the certified model congratulations to epic uh, because it's never an easy task 
to bring an airplane to certification. A lot of airplanes die in that process, but I think they did a really neat job with this plane. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Also, if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And guys, if you're looking to purchase or sell your airplane, make sure you do it on aeroavion.com. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video.